That's ridiculous. Uh, Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Oh, wait, let me get my tea. Yes. <laughs> Live from Tea Mania. It's Saturday morning. Uh, yeah, oh, mine's wicked fall, though. Mm hmm. Um, good God. I need a bigger head. Do they make these in large? Yeah, they're called dunce caps. <laughs> I feel like I need one right now. Yours doesn't, actually, yours does not sit correctly. And why is it backwards? Why do you put the seam in the front? No, the seam is supposed to be in the back. Oh, there. There's your cone head right there. Okay. <laughs> that's where it fits perfectly. That's fashionable. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's 1985 <laughs> punk rock right there. I know. Devo. Yeah, hi. Uh, <clears throat> so. Good morning, Jody. Um, we, uh, many of you have I probably already me, guessed. Give me an extra chin. Of getting misregulation. Yeah. Um, but uh, Team Mania turns seven today. In the building. So. In the building for a, uh, well, actually, no, technically it's Tuesday, but we're celebrating it today. So October 19th. <clears throat> Isn't today the 17th or the 16th? It's is Monday. Monday. Monday is the 19th. Monday is, and we're not open Monday, so we're celebrating today. Uh, we opened a uh, our store up the street, uh, October 19th, 2013. Uh, it's hard to believe that we're in... Good morning, Della. The rim needs to be curved. Yeah, okay. So I gotta trim the rim. Trim, oh. Yeah, cause it's gonna be, you know, it has to be to contour uh, to my head. <clears throat> I see. That, and I have a really. He's a big head. I have a big head. Um, <sighs> so. I've been hearing this the whole time. No. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> okay. That's too ridiculous, right. I can't hear it. <clears throat> All right, so. Um, <clears throat> All right. We uh, opened the doors seven years ago down the street um <laughs> and might i add amongst many uh, naysayers who thought <laughs> who thought we would never last mm. okay not just we would never last you know almost 30 years ago <laughs> but 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 the the uh the um concept would never well it was you know <clears throat> in winterport of all places and in winterport and that wasn't our our, still, our initial loose leaf team we were looking we wanted in to be in, we wanted to be in Bangor. Did not no. Well, actually, did not. yeah, because we went to. We just had we went to a consultant. I think that's a all we business say. advice, and they said, "Why would I buy? Why would you even do that? Loose leaf well, tea who, when who, I can just I use a tea bag every day. Why would like, who? Well, we don't who, like tea bags. Who so. who would buy that? I suggest right. you not do that. Right, and we didn't listen. <laughs> At, Stubborn as we are. Per, per just how we are. Yeah. That's right. So, uh, I don't listen to advice. We do it. First of all, um, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, Stop reading. We have, uh, I don't know how to say it. We've been so, so much uh, gratitude mm. for you all. And, We've been uh, so blessed, really. Uh, yeah. Uh, obviously, not to sound like a sports thing, but we obviously could have never done it without you guys and your love for tea. Um, we liked tea and, you know, so we thought mm -hmm. somebody else out there must. Yeah. So, Good morning, uh, Susan. Good morning, morning Susan. from the Slicks. Hey, guys. Where's that? Oh, the, the Slicks. slicks. Oh, <laughs> that was like a town. The slicks. Like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Um, hey, Tom and Marsha. Hey, guys. So uh, we thought we would just kind of go over a couple of things that um, we thought were kind of kind of neat. Nostalgic. Uh, nostalgic, right. Yeah. So uh, Team Mania, it was, on, we had uh, several names. See, that's a place. Wow, Virginia. nice. Nice. Good morning from Virginia. How's the weather down there? Because it's absolutely beautiful here today. <laughs> no, it's not. Actually, we're offering all-you-can-drink tea on the patio this morning. <laughs> <clears throat> free. Come on down. I know there's a few crazy people you know that will do it, actually. And if you're going to do it, we'll we'll supply the tea. I'd like to it's see it. It's torrential downpours. <laughs> we, need, in case you're not, we need in the case rain. you're from away right now. And, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we haven't had rain like this in a long time. No, we do need it, though. Mm -hmm. My gosh. Last week, you could walk across the condensed gag stream. 
walk across. Oh, uh, no, right. Like, legally. Not even have to hop from rock to rock to get yeah. there. Bad, bad situation. Dry. So, we need the rain. Um, right. Not a great day to be out and about. And, well, that's part of the other thing is because of uh, COVID, uh, we can only have five people in the store. So, usually in our past uh, anniversary celebrations, um, you know, we've had all kinds of deals and drawings. It's, and a, it's a big to-do. We put on a... It is, a but there's a lot of people drawings, that come in. We thankfully. buy bake. But, you know, uh, we have free snacks. Right. We can't, we can't do that. Not that I want to discourage you from coming out, but... It's a good day to stay inside anyway. It is a good day to stay inside. If I, if I were home, I'd be on the couch or in a comfy chair with a book or magazine with a fire roaring on my TV. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you too. We good. don't have, we don't have. <laughs> uh, And a cup of tea. All right. Oh my God, so, a whole pot. Speaking of cup of tea. Okay. Great segue. Okay. This was our original business plan. And I know it's backwards, but uh, the original plan for the name of the business was my cup of tea and uh so i don't don't remember why we changed it i don't know we came up with so many names and uh anyway we dig it so here's some of the other names like um uh we we debbie has a little debbie's great at notebook taking note taking and everything we do she writes it down anybody who knows me anyway um uh uh china lily tea was one um tiger lily tea and then we got like crazy with the names like celebrity, eccentricity, yeah, <laughs> tasty, <laughs> twisty, serendipity. Just finished brewing a cup of wild Maine, a uh, Maine wild blueberry. Oh, Good morning, yeah. Katie. Delicious. Oh my gosh, right? So, so we generosity. So we kind of got crazy. We kind of got off on a not your mother's tea. You know, we kind of got off on a tear. A little bit as as to as we do uh uh-huh and then one of them was um citron it's a flower known as buddha's hand and stands for luck and happiness and so we thought about that too but we we really wanted to make sure that people knew what our business was right so we wanted to have tea in the name tea needed to be in the name and we needed people to know what it is we were offering so and and we're kind of crazy people anyway (laughs) So we wanted the tagline to be "Mean people crazy about tea," and so anyway, yep, we settled on tea mania. Tea mania, <laughs> tea mania. Two and words. people have a lot of you know difficulty with it whenever we you yeah, know. Yeah, it is it is difficult to remember that it's Maine, like the state. And yes, we did take advantage because we live here. Someone sure, why not? It was a few years ago. Someone, well, aren't you lucky? You took advantage of living in the state of Maine. Well, we are, and we did. Oh, 20 people want but um it. anyway That's so look at that but it's exciting stop it okay um so anyway so that was um you know the we you know some tea so you want to talk about our fir- our very first day so we actually didn't start in a store and we started um so due to the advice we were given to not start a business um such as this we decided that you know so how do we know that it's not just us who likes tea right so we reached out to some farmers markets some of the far- farmers markets were not as welcoming um, because we didn't actually, they said, Morning, oh, do you Kennedy. grow your own tea? And of course, <laughs> I am like, do you know where we live? So <laughs> He doesn't uh, grow real well in Maine. No. So that was a no, they, <clears throat> they wouldn't let us in, which is fine. But there, there, was, um, there is still a uh, really fabulous, if you haven't been there, on Buck Street, it's a European market. And they have a lot of good things. They have a, um, a man who sells fresh meat and some of his eggs. Some people bake and cook meals and prepackage them and you can buy Mainly them Mainly tea. Yeah, that would have been bad. And so they have um, lots of different good morning, Jean. Um, uh, things there. Anyway, too. so Hope it didn't matter to them right. because their market was not strictly a farmer's market. People would make things and, and um, like I said, prepackage morning, Mike. Feel foods and meals. And so we were able to start there. So that was June sixteenth of twenty twelve, right at the Buck Street Market. Buck Street Market, and so that first day, so we we bought um, we brought eleven <laughs> again with the notes. Debbie's notes. <laughs> How old well, do you think we remember all this all so fast? Anyway, we brought eleven teas. We brought eleven teas, eleven different teas, eleven pounds of eleven one pound bags sat on our bed. And we right, and we, we were like, "Oh doomed. my god, we will never sell all of this!" Right, 
We were like, oh my God. We're going to be drinking tea for the next 10 yeah, years. Yeah, I will never have to buy tea again. <laughs> um, but that, that first day, we did sell 18 two-ounce bags. So that was kind of encouraging, right? Out of, and seven different and we were off. types of tea. And our number one selling tea, we still have. The number one selling tea that day, we still have, which is still a pretty big uh, seller. Peach apricot. Peach apricot. Sold six bags. Six we bags. sold out. We brought six bags and we sold six bags. Sold out. Amazing. Yeah. Good morning, was. Louise. So. Love the note. Yeah. <laughs> she is. Yeah, anyway. But, well, you know. So, yeah. So that was really exciting. <laughs> so we did the Buck Street Market for. In, even into the fall. In the winter. Got, in, in the, we got, um, well. You we broke did, your we wrist. went to we went to the first um, we went to the we were at the second harvest festival that was our first right, year right. that was pandemonium because we really were not prepared right. well at all um, it was three people deep trying to hand us money after two hours Dan had to go back and not only um, you know we had the AirPods we had um, two different teas and four different AirPods we we completely emptied those. In an hour. Yeah, and Dan had to go back and, and not only make, make more, more tea, tea. For, to sample, but bag more tea because we were selling out Can't of tea. It was try insane. The main we're, good morning. We had no idea. Is that Heidi, we were, sorry. Yes. Heidi. We had no idea what we were in for, um, but we we stopped um, in January because I broke my wrist. Right. You start going to the Buck Street Market. <clears throat> we stopped going to the and by then we picked up a few <clears throat> wholesale accounts. Yeah, so and we but we had been going. looking for a retail, you know, storefront. We were storefront always looking for a storefront in yeah. Bangor mostly. Yeah, yeah. And then we happened to find the place yep. down the street yep. at one fifteen. We and looked in Bangor for months and months and months, and I always say God will provide, and God just did not provide. All of our business, the business plan, everything yep. that we wrote up all was our numbers was assuming we were going to be in Bangor. Yep. But so God anyway, did not provide. The, we're in Winterport. Mm -hmm. um, so. Anyway. Anyway. So, <clears throat> that's our that. story. Oh, and the other thing I <laughs> I was going to talk about is, and you really actually can't see it here, so it really might not be Oh, yeah. The, the, the puppy well, eye in the, the room? The, el the elephant in the room. Um, I'm assuming some people would ask uh, later, but it's, it's just a, a, a slight mask injury. Um, <laughs> if you've ever been to Northern Light, we all, a lot of us wear, we end up wearing the white that look like a dryer sheet. And uh, it just has a, you know, masks, love them, hate them, whatever. It's, it, it's, it is what it is, and it's all we got right now to, to battle what we've got going on. But anyway, so that particular mask happens to have a really, you know, narrow edge, and I was itchy, and I was fiddling with it right up into my eye and... <laughs> Blew up like a balloon. And, <laughs> right. So, uh, <clears throat> and I do have some, uh, some scratches on my cornea, and... Have an ophthalmologist appointment on Monday, and I'm a little more swollen than most people, but I do. I'm a little hyperactive to things. So I just wanted to. Uh, this was going back to our initial stuff. Yeah. This was <clears throat> our initial. I don't. Maybe some of you remember the old bags we used to have. With I don't think we have any left, but oh, they were the they were like a the roll top bags. Roll top with a little the little flat bread tie. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this was you know uh, before we had our logo done professionally. professionally. But that was uh, pretty good. Yeah. Little, anyway. Um. Oh, and so one of the other things, the Buck Street Market. Yeah. I don't you know I don't usually call out people, but we have oh. we still have customers. We do. And I think. One of them was like our first customer ever. Uh, she's still a customer today, mm -hmm. a great customer, Linda. I'm not going to mention last names. You know who you are, <laughs> um, and and Barbara. And Barbara, yeah. And uh, now Linda and her mother both come down. Mm -hmm. Barbara and her daughter come down. Mm -hmm. um, so well, Barbara was instrumental in getting us some other fantastic teas that we hadn't heard about. Recommended so different would, teas. She would no say, Gary, right? And Silver Golden Needle, Monkey. I think Golden Monkey. She was like, "Have you heard of Golden Monkey?" I'm like, "Oh yeah." That's she's a she's a big tea drinker. Yeah. And so yeah, it's so cool that. To see, you know, customers that we had. We made uh, customers at the first Harvest Festival. Yeah. And they've been with us ever since. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, we just can't, can't thank everybody enough. It is, it is it's awesome. just very It's a nice cool. little community we have, you know. I mean, we're really grateful for everybody. And we love our customers. Yeah. Really more, more, more than just customers, it's, really, to us. It, they really are. And it's... Yeah. You know, it's, I don't know what it is, if it's like work friends or 
probably. I don't even care if you come in. I've told people before, I don't care if you come in and buy things. Just come in and we say do, hi. We do have a lot of uh, uh, lengthy, sometimes chatty and I love it. sessions, you know. And I, I always said, is when we can open the lounge back up. Oh. I'm just going to invite people in. Come sit. And oh my gosh. Come sit and have a cup of tea. This lounge I want, I want to man. join you. But. I really appreciate it for everybody. Yeah. Um, all right. So speaking of free tea, we do have free tea Friday that you did yesterday, right? Yes. And so we're, we're drawing today. Oh, I did want to do just one more thing. Oh, just, some, just some numbers. Okay. okay. It, it fascinates me. Oh, yes. All right. Mm -hmm. So <clears throat> talk about main people crazy about tea. Yeah. So we started with 18 pounds of tea. 11. I mean, 11 pounds of tea. Yeah. Take a, well, I don't know if you remember, I told you a while ago. You how many <clears throat> pounds of tea that we've sold oh, and the lights behind us, yeah. in oh, seven years? Just the storefront. I didn't even go back, oh, you didn't go back to, 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 the, 2012. to the 2012. Since we've opened the store. And mind you, we were part-time for the first right, year. Right, right. Anybody? Did, we, did, we did go Good morning, to Sarah. She likes the lights. The lights? Oh, that's yeah. my uh, so my little stick light collection. Not even real birch trees, but they're oh, it's popple. popple popple branches, small that trees painted. that he lightly painted to mimic semi birch trees, and then put little tiny lights on them. And yeah. they're shoved in an old table upside down table <laughs> legs. <laughs> table legs bolted that I that I painted bolted to a board. We get more comments about that thing. Um, yeah. So anyway, Good morning, Wendy. Uh, yeah. tea. All right. All right. How many pounds of tea? We have sold. <clears throat> do tell. Uh, it's, it's a little over two ton of tea. So 2,000 pounds. 2,000, like 240 something two pounds of tea. 2,000 pounds of tea. It, it's mind boggling. That is kind of mind boggling. Cause I yeah. can't even picture. Cause that comes out to like <clears throat> 300 and something pounds of tea a year. For the past seven years. I can't even imagine what that would look like in here. So, main people are <laughs> crazy about tea. Okay. And others around the country. Oh, yeah, yeah right. We ship yeah, almost so all 50 on. states. You got to so. give credit to everybody. Oh, she was she was close. 1,300. Yeah, 1,300. Yeah. And we were nervous. We weren't going to sell 11 pounds. <laughs> so, uh, it's just mind-boggling. <clears throat> and another great... A little fun fact for you, okay? Mm -hmm. In the old store, I don't know if people remember, we used to offer free cups of tea. Uh, yes, it is a lot of tea, Louise. Uh, used to offer free cups of tea if you brought in a canned good to the uh, oh, local food cupboard. Food cupboard. Um, so we've continued to support them. We are a food drop-off spot. Um, we don't now we do... have a tip jar because people kept trying to give us tips, and we're like, no. We're yeah, we don't take tips. We're the owners. We don't so we shouldn't take tips. So we have a little tip jar. And all that money goes to the to the uh, Winterport oh, neighbor's cupboard. Two tons is four thousand pounds. He's right. So is that how much it is? Because we were talking about two tons. Yeah. No, pounds. it's right. Four thousand two hundred pounds. Sorry. Thank not you, 2, John. Yeah. Thank you for helping yeah. us with our math. Yeah, yeah. We we knew that anyway, but I just. Oh anyway. right. So four thousand. Four thousand two hundred. It was oh, two ton, just over two, two ton, ton of tea. Okay. Four thousand. Right. Okay. Uh, oh, so anyway, so the little tip jar. So in the three years, another shout out to all you guys. And uh, we, seven years. No, three years since oh, we've been since in we've this been store. And so not even not three even years. three years since yeah. January of 2018. 2018. Oh, you could just count the tip jars. Oh, right, right just right. the tip tip jar. Oh yeah. We have done over a thousand dollars. You guys mm -hmm. have donated a thousand nice. over a thousand dollars to the Winterport Neighbors Covered. Uh, so, awesome. and they are very, very appreciative. Um, so anyway, that, that feed gets a lot of food. It's a lot of tea for you guys. Thanks. Yeah. Dave. So, yeah. um, you know, again, we can't thank you guys enough for everything. Um, so anyway, with that. Yeah. Free tea. Free tea in the week. Free tea. Free tea Friday. Free tea Friday. And we had like 140. That's a lot this time. 144 people, something like that. Yeah. Thank God we have the little slicer, slicer machine there. Just, be a lot to cut out. <clears throat> All right. All right. Here we go. Free tea Friday winner. A special free tea. It was our top. I did the top three teas uh, oh. in, the, in the seven years. Melissa Staples. Mm -hmm. Congratulations. Melissa. Melissa Harriman Staples. 
So we will be sending you a private message so that yes. we can figure out if you want to bring uh, come pick up. it up so or or need to have it mailed to you. Depending yeah, on where you that's are. right. Yeah, depending on where you are, we can mail it for you as well if you don't want to come down and pick it up. Um, or if you're some from some place like Virginia. Yeah. All right. What All else right. we got? <clears throat> Free tea. Yep. So to to celebrate um, the. Um, uh, we got to do the tea of the week. We got to draw that if you want to go switch that out. And also, so because because of the anniversary, we don't have a lot of um, you know the usual stuff we do and deals and giveaways or whatever. So we and and we're not encouraging we hordes of people to come into the store today. So um, you know everybody stay home and shop, and there'll be free shipping, and it's usually fifty dollars for free shipping. And so to this weekend, um, today and tomorrow. It'll be free shipping with a twenty-five dollar order. Today and tomorrow. Today and tomorrow. Only. So stay home, stay in your jammies. Well, unless you want free tea on the patio, <laughs> bring your bring your slicker and your what are those galoshes or yeah, well, galoshes are your booze. Gum your rubbers. And, we you know, we're not putting up the umbrella either. On the farm. Like, they like gum it'll, rubbers. It'll fly, 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 right? Free tea of the week. Free tea of the week is. Brrr, Orange smoothie. Oh, that's a good one. We got a lot of orange smoothie fans out there. So that uh, yeah. the orange smoothie is twenty percent off all week. It's an herbal tea. Tastes like a creamsicle. Fruit, yeah, it's in a fruit tea. Naturally caffeine free. Kids love it. Mhm. Mm yep. Congratulations. Yeah. Um. So it'll. I'm be... drinking a. I'm. I'm drinking matcha. Uh, not matcha. Sorry. What is Masala. it? Masala. Masala chai latte. Because it's one it's of really those really good. Days. Uh, mm -hmm. Um. It'll take me a minute to put the online. So if you're taking advantage of the twenty-five dollar shipping, uh, give me give him a minute. Give me a minute. Yeah. Um, I think that was it. Uh, <clears throat> seems like there was something else, wasn't <clears throat> it? No, we get open. Oh, oh we're talking five. We got five minutes. Oh, one other thing. So I, I just n nostalgia. Uh, the weekly. I don't think it's in print anymore. Um, John, you could tell me that. Um, but uh, they did an article on us back in. Uh, it came out December 26th in 2013 um, when we first opened the store. I don't know if everyone remembers seeing that, <clears throat> but uh, that was kind of a cool thing. That, that was our big display was that table with like yeah, I know. We had, six pots on it. Um, but one of the things I thought was interesting, yeah. did you know, I was reading the article, do you know what our hours were back then? Yeah, 9 to 1. Right? Not, Is this 20, no, oh. Don't cheat. 9 to 1. Yeah, it was 2013. Yeah? No, it was 8 to 1. Oh. Tuesday. Keep talking. Tuesday through Friday. Because you had a, a part-time job you had to go to. Right. Yeah, so it was 8 to 1, Tuesday through Friday. What were our Saturday hours? 8 to 5? Mm -hmm. 8 to 3. 8 to 3. And that was Saturday and Sunday. We were open Sundays back then. Uh, so, we'll and then be. we stopped because it was slow. Yeah, and we needed a break. Oh, it's like we opened at eight, thinking I was thinking people will stop on the way to work to get a cup of tea. That didn't happen, so we moved to nine. Um, but we will be, of course, anyway. doing our Sunday hours and our Wednesday hours, extended hours, starting November in a couple of days, right? A couple of weeks, I mean. I think it's November seventh. Yeah. Uh, the Wednesdays. Wacky Wednesday. Give me mm. ten to six. Maybe we should do some specials or something for yeah. Wacky Wednesday. And then we'll be open Sundays from Thanksgiving to Christmas. Yeah. Uh, and we are going to be doing some holiday. Um, the shopping season, I guess, is starting early. So starting November 1st, yeah. we're going to be doing uh, some some specials. I don't know if it's like every, it's going to be Black Friday, every Friday or something. Uh, we're going to do something. But um, so that'll be coming up yep. November 1st. Uh, what else? We got anything oh, else? We got our 857. We got to open. All right. We're to put the flag out. You're putting the flag out. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So you can car curbside today if you want. Curbside, Call us. Yes. And Debbie will be happy to bring your order I'm, out to I you. I will. I have a hood. <laughs> oh, oh, flu oh, shot. Oh. Get your flu oh. shot. And don't hug your wife if she has. So, so sore. I don't like it. All right, guys. Again, right, thank you so much. You yeah, we're, awesome. we're losing people. We're dropping like flies. We're down to nine. <laughs> Right. Thank you again. Here's yes. another seven years. Have a fantastic day. Yep. Yeah. Bye.